Welcome back, y'all, to another episode of... Yeah, that's right. I'm your Captain Edward Teach, and this is my vessel, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And we're going to be sailing the high seas today looking for what? Three plants. And how are we going to get them? Let's get three vials. Yeah, that's right, y'all. Today is Landscape Debris Pickup Day in our community. So Teddy and I are going to sail around in our golf cart here looking for free plants. We got kind of a cold one today, don't we? Yeah. It's like 52 degrees, which... I'm sure if you're watching from any part of the other country, you're probably laughing at us. But that's a cold one for uh, us here on the island in Central Florida. So we are going to get going down the road here. Uh, hopefully it'll warm up for us. Uh, we got to get going down the road here, though, because somebody else is out to get our plants. Who is it? The British Royal Navy. The British Royal Navy, a.k.a. the Waste Management Landscape Debris Pickup Trucks. They will come along and crush up all of our plants if we don't get to them first. So we're going to get going down the road here, and we'll get back with everybody if we get something good. All right, I dragged Teddy out of bed this morning. I don't think he was too happy about it. He's, he's saying that we, he wants to stop right here for a little bit, yeah. take a little break. Hey, bud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, we might have just come up on a real prize right here. Look at that. Tell me that has roots, Teddy. Please tell me that has roots. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's spiky. Yeah, I know it's spiky. Pull it out, yank it out. Does it have roots? Come on, roots, roots, roots. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, look at that. There is multiples. Oh, my goodness. This is a killer agave with, a with little pups. We are definitely keeping this one. We are definitely going to save that from the trash. Heck yeah. So there's our competition right there, and you can see there's his plant crusher. He's out there crushing all of our plants. It's, it's, it's just a disgrace, isn't it? Oh. We gotta get going down some of these other roads before he gets to them. All right, what we got, kiddo? We've got a double. We've got some ficus or rubber tree and chef lair. We do, we do, and both of these are super easy to plant from cuttings. I would say the chef lair is the easiest to plant from cuttings, but I don't know, the, the rubber tree or the ficus is super easy too, so we will definitely save some of these from the trash. We've got a beautiful sky this morning. Teddy just pointed it out. Hopefully the sun will come up and give us some heat soon. We are cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold. All right, we got this huge pile here. And at first I was thinking we might not get anything out of it, but we just spotted this snake plant right here. And Calusia. Where? Oh, yep. And some autograph plant. You want to grab some of that, kiddo? Yeah. Grab me that snake plant. I want to show everybody. Yeah, it's, it's got a, yeah, it's in bloom right now doesn't have any roots or anything, but this is a Dracaena that will root easily um, if we just stick it in the ground just like this. And then Teddy just spotted some Clusia here. It's also called the autograph plant because you can take a nail or your fingernail. And, or a key. Yeah, write your name in it and it will last on the leaf as long as the leaf stays alive. So we are definitely going to save both of those from the trash. And here is a massive clump of bird of paradise. There's no way we're going to be able to get that whole clump, but maybe we can save a little bit. You want to try and save us a little bit of that? We're going to have to try and get roots with this one. Oh my gosh, I wish I could take the whole clump. I don't think we can. We'll see if Teddy... Oh, there's... A... Yeah, all right. We'll be able to save a little bit. Excellent. Unfortunately, this is what we have to live with, being beachside. Look at that bumper. It pretty much rot rusted all, all the way off. It's crazy. All right, it appears we are not the only plant pirates here. Oh, that's a coconut palm. Look at that. Oh, I yeah, I thought it was a banana. Man, they got a score. They did better than us today, didn't they? Yeah. All right, we decided to stop by the beach and do a little surf check. Doesn't look like we have huge waves today, but there might be some, some surfable waves out here. Super cold though, we're gonna need wetsuits today for sure. Here is a ton of snake plant right here. Just a ton of it. I don't think we need any more. Uh, well, this is a ton of it. We could like make a whole yard out of this, just about. Sort of a nursery. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pass on this though. Oh man, so we we barely made it back today, eh? We're we're both popsicles. Yeah. Yeah. What flavor popsicle are you? I think I'm orange. I don't know. Anyways, we are literally chilled to the bone. So we're going to go ahead and show everybody what we got, then run inside. We just cranked up the heat. Believe it or not, even in Central Florida, houses come with heat. So uh, 
while the heat gets going in there, we're gonna show everybody what we got. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so let's start with this bin. Yep. The ficus. Yeah, the ficus. The, the rubber tree. The rubber tree. This is a super easy one to plant from cuttings. These look like some healthy cuttings too. Look at like the growth yeah. off of them. Especially for rubber trees. We usually find them like weak old piles. Yeah, we do. We, a lot of times when we find this, we find a lot of it because this is one that can get to get grow to be very big. So, um, yeah. super easy one to plant from cuttings though. It's a beautiful tree too. You can get, they have a variegated, uh, they sell like a variegated uh, one too. Yeah. It's all different colors, it's cool. Okay. All right. Next is Chef Lara. We got Chef Lara. It wouldn't be Plant Pirates without Chef Lara. It's become the new tea plant. Yeah, this might be the easiest plant to root from cuttings. I don't know, or the or the ficus. These two are probably the two easiest that, that we get to root from cuttings. Um, Chef Lara, this is one that's commonly used in our area um, as a hedge, even a privacy hedge. Um, they can get pretty big. So. Yeah. I think that's the gold capella variety. Next up, I might need some help with this. Was oh, this the big one? Here, why don't you take the camera and I'll Kay. I'll pull it out. This is this this is probably the find of the day, right? Yeah. All right, I think so. This agave, I think it's a Caribbean agave. Maybe not. I'm not, I'm not an agave expert, but it is a beautiful one. And like yeah. Teddy pointed out earlier, it's got all these little pups, yeah. like all over it. So each one of these is gonna be a new plant. And then it had extra pups in the file. Yeah, and we'll show y'all. Um, so we got this one. Oh yeah, there was some extra ones in here. Uh, there? They're all stuck to here. Oh, okay. But these are super prolific plants. Here's another agave we got out of the trash, a slightly different one. I, actually, I think this is the Caribbean agave right here. Yeah. Um, but you can see just all the little pups that it's shooting up. And I've already potted some, moved some, given some away, but it just, they're so prolific. And um, uh, what's crazy about it is these leaves, the, the leaves that are damaged back right there will fill back up with yeah, juice. Yeah, they will, yep. All right, you have to excuse the, the trash here. We actually just got a new roof put on the house. It cost a small fortune, but it had to be done, so. All right, what else we got? Um, snake plant. Yes, we got the snake plant. If you remember, we actually came across several bins of snake plant, but we have a lot of snake plants, so yeah. we didn't need any more. Um, this is a variety of Dracaena. It will root um, even without uh, visible roots that you can just poke this right in the ground and it will it will root yeah so so I guess the second best find of the day is oh yes I forgot we got these the the orange bird of paradise um uh, we, it was orange yeah it was orange yeah uh, the white bird of paradise are the ones we have by oh, our right, driveway yeah. they get to be like 20 feet tall but it's I'm real bummed if you're if you scroll back through the video um they had a clump of this that was like half the size of our golf cart and I would have grabbed the whole thing if we had room like yeah if we had room but we didn't so but these should we should be able to plant these um they should do all right for us so we'll see we'll give it a try and then finally last but not least we have something way down in there what is it plant. autograph plant lucia yes this is another one that's easy to root from cuttings um this is one that is used uh, commonly in our area as a privacy hedge, uh, and it's a super cool plant. It's kind of, it, it's almost like a giant succulent. Uh, the leaves are kind of juicy and thick, and um, Teddy's going to score it, yeah. So this is why it's called the autograph plant. You can see he put a T in there, but that'll dry out, and then you'll be able to see it, and it will stay on the leaf as long as the leaf stays on the plant. So it's kind of a cool plant. And it makes a great privacy hedge, except for in high winds. If if you let it get too tall during hurricane season and then we get a hurricane, um, the whole plant tends to sag over, but it pops back up, no problem. So you can see we didn't have a huge haul here no. today, probably because it's the middle of winter. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people were out of town for the holidays too, but we got a score. It's pretty obvious what the find of the day is. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, Diego. obviously this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, obviously, it's this agave. And I mean, even if this big plant, like Teddy said, believe it or not, we'll stick this in the ground and it will rejuvenate and, and 
spring back to life. But even if the mother plant didn't, um, just the fact that we got all these little pups that we can plant was a, was just a score. So I would say that was the find of the day for sure. So, all right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed our adventure here. If you have any questions or comments about any of the plants uh, that we found here today, just post down below. If you did enjoy the adventure, maybe you'd consider subscribing to our family's YouTube channel. And if they don't, what's going to happen, bud? You're going to get hit by our golf cart. <laughs> You're going to get hit by our golf cart. Uh, and our golf cart's already been in several accidents. So hopefully you just subscribe to our YouTube channel and I don't have to do any more damage to our golf cart. So. All right, y'all. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.